Hello everybody. Tonight we are going to be cooking simple and easy porcupine meatballs made out of beef. Uh, it's an easy recipe and it's a fun recipe. So without further ado, here is what you need to get started. I am going to do two pounds of ground beef, um, a half a cup of uncooked rice. You got the minute rice right there. We're going to need two cans of cream of chicken soup. Uh, you're going to need minced onion. You could do fresh or the stuff out of the spice rack. I'm just doing spice rack tonight. You're gonna need two eggs, you're gonna need salt, pepper, and two cups of water. So let's get going. Start by putting your ground beef in the bowl. Next, go in the eggs. You're gonna need a half a cup of the soup. Just like so. Half a cup of rice. Half a cup of mixed onions from the pantry. Again, you could do fresh onion or the uh, spice rack minced onion. I'm just doing the dry stuff tonight. And it goes. Two teaspoons of salt. There's one. And... Come on, numero dos, there you go. Followed up by a half a teaspoon of pepper. Ground black pepper or just the pantry black pepper is fine. So then, after all that, once you make sure your hands are washed, go ahead and start mixing up your meatballs with your bare hands, just like I usually do and have shown you guys several times now in my other videos uh, while we're sitting here mixing. Go ahead and check those other videos out while you're thinking about it. And I got the enchilada, enchilada meatball recipe, and I've got a recipe for regular beef meatballs with Italian seasoning that you bake in beef, uh, beef gravy. Let them simmer in the oven for 45 minutes. Those are also really good recipes. Keep mixing this. Make sure all the ingredients are <clears throat> thoroughly mixed together. Make sure that the egg is mixed, the onion, the rice, salt, pepper, everything is well mushed, thoroughly combined. All right, so your mixture is ready, thoroughly gooped together, ready to go, ready to make those meatballs. So you're going to want to get a 9 by 13 large uh, pan ready to go, a glass baking dish. Uh, you could do this in either, or, um, you could bake them in the oven at 325 for about 45 minutes, or you could simmer them on the stovetop in a large frying pan. You can brown them in a frying pan and let them simmer in the soup on a frying pan. But I'm going the oven route tonight. So bring your, uh, your nonstick pan out, put a little pan in, make sure it's nonstick, and that bottle of pan is just about out. All right, so let's get our meatballs going. You wanna grab just enough beef, uh, grab enough of the mixture to mix meatballs that are about an inch to an inch and a half diameter. Uh, you could make them up to two, two and a half inches in diameter or even larger if you really wanted to, uh, but you may have to adjust your cook time accordingly. So here you go, an absolute perfect meatball. It's got all the ingredients well blended in. Uh, the rice is mixed throughout. These are gonna be really, really good porcupine meatballs once they're done. Let me make a large one for you. So you grab a bunch of the mixture, put it in your hands, just volley it back and forth, up and down, just like your grandparents or parents used to do back in the day. Back and forth, up and down, till that meat is an absolute 100% perfect meatball. Well stuck together, Ingredients are mixed throughout, ready to go. That was a really big one. So let's mix one or two more here. You can watch what I'm doing. Just going back and forth with it. Just like that, a little bit in slow motion so you can see. Boom, perfect meatball, right in the pan it goes. And there you have it. A full nine by 13 non-stick baking dish 
full of beautiful, delicious meatballs, varying in size from about one and a half inches to two and a half inches in diameter. These guys are really big. They are gonna be awesome. So what we're gonna to wanna to do next is mix together our water and the remainder of the soup in a bowl. So let's get that mixed together, ready to go. Put in two cups of water. And the soup. So this one was the can that was already open for the half cup that we used in the beef mixture. Get that all put in there. Make sure that's mixed together real good. Make sure your oven is set on to bake at 325 degrees. All right, and your soup mixture is ready to pour in the meatballs. So go ahead and cover those meatballs in the soup. Make sure they're taking a bath, well covered. Kind of make sure that the soup gets over the top of them. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Delicious. And we are ready to put them in the oven. All right, in the meatballs go. 325 degrees. Alexa, set timer for 50 minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the timer just went off. There's our meatballs. Let me grab my mitt. And pull them out, oh yeah. Those look really good. Simmering in the juice for almost an hour. Let's look at them, yeah. Let's go ahead and serve up a plate and see how we did. Man, these puppies look really good. Mm. All right. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Guten Appetit. Porcupine meatballs cooked in cream of chicken soup. Uh, simmered in the oven, like I said. You know, you could also do this on the stove top in a pan if you want to brown them in the pan and let them simmer uh, covered. But um, I chose to go oven route this time around. If you don't have to make this many, you could easily cut the recipe in half. It's all proportional. So it's a very, very easy thing to make and do. Enjoy, everybody.